So this this is working, but I, I'm like standing like a few feet back, so I might not be able to read all the comments. Yeah, so we'll start a little bit of this, maybe play 20 or 30 minutes of it. I do love this game. Just too bad the second game pretty much recycles the same story. But the second game is also really good. I think. Well, she even has to read the letter to me. Oh, I bet there is. Hey, oh. I'm about to stand to get this to the cursor to get all the little star pieces here. That's why I'm kind of glad we're not playing one of the later levels. As far as games that use the Wii U, uh, the Wii functions pretty well, this was probably at the top of the list. Using this little star thing to pick up the bits and stuff. There's some gimmicks that really use it well. Some others that don't, but Toaster Cartridge has probably played this game quite a bit, so they understand. Uh, this is... Probably one of my, maybe my favorite Mario game ever. I think it's better than Odyssey, which I know is a controversial uh, take. And I think, well, I don't know. I like Galaxy 2, but I prefer this one. Uh, but I, I actually would take either one of them over Odyssey, believe it or not. And I like Odyssey a lot. Yeah, you know a game is good when they have to tell you to leave GameStop because you're playing it too long, which is exactly what happened with this game back in 2007. They had, like, the full demo, uh, not the full, they had the full game on the Wii, and I must have played, like, I don't know how long. I was just playing the game one level after the other. I couldn't stop, and they were finally like, yeah, you gotta leave the store. I'm like, yeah, that's how I know it's a good game. Last time that happened was literally Sonic Adventure in 99, so... Anybody speak Bowser? Huh. Actually, I have not heard that, but I'm not surprised. It's not impossible. It's not out of the realm. I like how this game, like, really kind of innovated the old Mario formula with some technology type stuff. Obviously, the space theme and all. Why I can't use my spin attack. Oh, I don't think I get that till later. Yeah, I can't spin. And as usual, the toads are freaking useless. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Just try not getting trapped for once. I will say the Mario Odyssey spin move that they added when you do the jump and roll into a ball is a pretty cool move. That would have been nice to have in this kind of scenario. I forgot this intro is actually kind of a long intro, so a lot of this might just be us watching the intro. This was a great game. I can't believe they didn't make a Galaxy 3. Maybe they will at one point, but they should make a Galaxy 3 and then like release a Galaxy Trilogy on Switch. That would be awesome. Mario Odyssey was good. I just, I don't, I think it's good for what it is. Like, I think it stands alone as a really good game, but like, I just, I don't know. Like, Galaxy, I'm like craving more. Yep. Oh, YOLO, just gonna steal this castle now. Castlevania. 
Got so kleptomania. Put that back. We need that. I mean, I could skip any of these cutscenes. I'm just kind of going along with the flow right now. Yeah, Peach as usual. Doing her thing. Ooh, come back. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mario. See, this was, like, really epic the first time. And then, like, Mario Galaxy 2 is kind of a similar premise, and it's just not the same. But this, this game, you could tell, like, from the beginning that this was not your average Mario adventure. Oh. Yeah. I gotta chase this stupid bunny around now. Yeah, Mario controls so well here. Oh, I thought I could catch him. Oh, that's a little deceiving. All right, fine. Gee, I wonder where they're hiding. Really screwing me up that I don't have my spin jump yet. Whoa, okay. And I go chill in this crater for a bit. Yes, this was a Wii game. I don't think I went through this one. Oh, got the bunny out. It just keeps on going and going. Yes, we know it's a Wii game. You caught me! If only I hid it in the pipe. You mean the one that's like right over here? Why don't I investigate that? Hopefully we're not going to be needing the star bits too much, because I cannot point at the screen to save my life. This one seems a bit slower. I say that as he speeds up. Get back here. Yes, I know it's a Wii game. Don't worry about that part of it. I'm back here, I just want to touch you. I should have hidden in the grass. This whole thing is grass. But I digress. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, we got a great show for you. Oh, gee, you don't say. You're over here now. And yes, I know. If I could actually get the Wii Mote to function, I could shoot the star bits at him to slow him down. Uh, looks like I don't need that. This game is discombobulating. Oh, wait till you get really into it. That's what I love about it, though, is just all the different gravities and spherical thingies. But yeah, like I said, this, this is a little bit... <laughs> I really do. In fact, we might be seeing that. Mario totally Joe Biden that... Oh, too soon. But true. I might end up skipping some of this. I forgot how long this goes on for. How do we fit? No, I actually don't. Never got into that thing. Closest I got is the Wii Fit Fighter from uh, Smash Brothers. How a pad for men. Ooh. 
Alright, now I can spin. Hopefully that'll work, even without the being pointed at the screen. No, that's not too weird. Hmm, alrighty then. There we go. There is something satisfying about doing that. And this. Alright, so now we get into some of the platforming stuff. We get our first taste of the really awesome orchestral music. And like I said, I just love the way that this makes use of, like, you know, classic Mario assets, but in a new way. I didn't even call that an extra life. That was an additional Mario. So I, I really love these environments. Of course, this one's pretty easy, because it's basically the first level. Yeah, this is a 13-year-old game, it's hard to believe. It still plays like... A, I mean, this game's aged incredibly well. Like, it still feels pretty new to me. Like, the graphics aren't, like, that far off. From, like, Odyssey and whatnot. Just a couple generations later. Feels... It, it does, but it's got, you know, the enhanced graphics, and it's just... I don't know, it's a lot of fun. And before you ask, I do like this game better than uh, Mario 64. I just... I don't know, I just love the environments... There was always a sense, the first time I played this game, of, like, what's coming next? Like, you know, I just never knew what the next environment was going to be, even if it was, like, a desert level. It's like, oh, we played a ton of desert levels, but have we played one that's flipped upside down and has all these weird things? It's funny you mention that, but I digress. Get me out of here! One of these enemies should have the key. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to get too far into this game unless you want me to open the other save file that has more of the creative levels. Because these are kind of just basic levels. Still fun levels, but they're your kind of basic warm ups. Transform! This is a good start. If I ever decide to stream this game, like in its entirety, I could, you know, use this as part one or whatever. Yeah, there's some really cool boss ideas and just different things that they do in this game that they actually expound on that in Galaxy 2, and it's just, it's a really great formula. I'm, I'm glad they came up with and I'm glad they stuck with it, actually. Somehow I'm able to take out that giant thing just by doing that. There you go. Let's see how far I can get in this. Yeah, I prefer to jump on their heads and get the coin. I know you can spin them just as easily. Oh, jeez, I kind of just did that out of self-defense. But like I said, the control scheme here isn't that disorienting where, like, I can't play the game, which is unfortunately an issue with a lot of the... A lot of Wii games, and even some Wii U games, where the wonky controls kind of, ouch, kind of, uh, hinder you from enjoying the game like you would on a regular controller. What the hell is that thing? Gotta go the other way. Uh, this can be a little disorienting, I'll admit. Especially when you haven't played it in a while. Funny thing is when you do little jumps like that and you kind of are bound to the planet's gravity. also do some cool things with the using the Wiimote to kind of flick and make platforms appear and disappear. So, I mean, they, they do use the hardware really well here. I have to give them credit for that. I mean, it's not like a hindrance. It actually adds to the fun. I was born disoriented. Well, if you really want, I can do some of the other levels that really test that. But right now, I'm trying to kind of light up all these different little switches. Turn off the... Yeah, I know. Chill. Chill, fam. 
Nope, don't show. There must be more on the wall or something. Mario time. Play Star Fun? No. Not even in the GameCube episode, which I've done already. But I don't even own the game. I'll play, uh, freaking, what do you call it? Star Fox, uh, Salt, or whatever it was for GameCube. Which is actually an okay game. It's got some good moments. Mainly the first couple levels, and then it gets kind of weird. I like how they just recycled the noise from Mario Sunshine for the stars. Grand dramatic music. Thundering throughout. Woohoo! Yeah. So it's up to you guys. If I keep going on this file, maybe I go into my other file and pick some more interesting levels, or what? I mean, maybe. I can cure something. Right, so if you want me to keep going from here, I can. It's just the selection of levels is pretty limited right now. I think this triggers another freaking cutscene. That's almost everything this game does. I did like how um, Super Mario 3D World had a few galaxy type levels in them. Go ahead, advance. You mean like, uh, actually go to my other file and check out some of the other levels? Because that could be fun. Alright, screw it. That's what I'm gonna do as soon as I get this stupidity to end. I can't pause out of this. I can do that. But I'll just I'll wait for them. I'll wait for this bitch to stop talking. I already know the story. Nobody's paying attention to me. Basically just a glorified hub world. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, why not? We're having so much fun here. Until we can't use the stupid pointy thingy. You know, I can't just hit the freaking buttons on here. And glorified laser pointer. This is me right now. I'm angry. Comma. Oh, I had it. 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 Oh, the, the, the rage is real right now. Oh, don't ask me again. I ain't in the mood. All right, let's check out. I want to show off maybe Flip Switch Galaxy, some of the junk galaxies. Two Mario's. All right, so now you're gonna see I've unlocked a bit more of the observatory and stuff. But I'm just kind of doing this to. I'm probably gonna lose too because I'm out of practice and some of these levels are kind of tough. No, it's not a huge fan of this hub world. That's one thing I liked better about the second game, is that you could just go from level to level. Having to remember what level's in what, and, like, you know, go to these different galaxies, and I'm gonna have to drag Mario into the freaking thing now. Oh, that's gonna be a freaking adventure in itself. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, man. Well, I'd like to show off some of the fun levels here. Almost gotta hold this like sideways. Alright, let's see what we got here. Space junk, that's a fun one. Bowser's. Oh, that's a fun ass level. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do just a few levels from this galaxy. I don't even need more than that. So let's see what we got. I mean, there's plenty. I could show off this game for hours, but I'll just do. I'll do three levels. I'll do one level from here. I don't. See, do I have to do. I don't wanna do a speedy comment. I just wanna do one of the main levels. God damn, I gotta do it. Because this ends up like, no, oh god, no, no, no. We're not doing the pull, pull freaking star run with that. Not with my controller foobar like this. So that kind of annoys me. All right, let's do Battle Rock. I hate how it forces me to do the freaking optional mission. Normally I would, but I got no control over this thing right now. So let's see, Battle Rock Barrage, Breaking... Oh, that's a fun level. Let's do Breaking into the Battle Rock. Let me do some levels where I don't have to freaking play aerobics with a freaking remote control. Excuse my German. So yeah, this is the fun stuff here. Yes. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. Oh, jeez, I just threw it back at myself. I'm trying to think of the best path to get around there. Oh, here we go. Not, not really doing anything too fancy here. I'm just trying to get through the level. I mean, there's a lot to explore in these levels. Ah, oh, we're down to one viewer. It is not as much to explore as I thought, huh? Alright, here we are on this weird little DNA thingy. What do you call this? Tetrahedron. It's a tetrahedron. Once again, so you can tell every level has kind of a gimmick. This one's going to be using the bombs to our advantage. Thing to track right, I can snag. Oh no no no! Oh, this sucks. Okay, we're gonna try it anyway. These are these are the pole stars I was talking about. Oh, this this might be a bad idea. I can't I can't I can't use the. Yep, that's why this is a bad idea. Great idea if you got good tracking. No, no, no. Oh, I, I saw the way out. I saw the way out. Oh, grab him. Got it. I don't even know. I don't know at this point if I'm taking the regular route or if I'm... Okay, it looks like I'm still in the level. I wanted to do the space jump galaxy, but apparently I have to do the stupid speed run. I can't just, like, do it. Seriously. Crap, 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 crap. I completely forgot his moveset. I should have a double, triple, whatever. That's really all that did, huh? Can't really do a whole hell of a lot of these with these with my limited, uh, whatever you want to call it, remote ability. Ooh, 
that thing. I feel like I'm in a Metroid game now. Go, 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 go! Oh, I think I have to spin them. Alright, so I gotta aim, right? I gotta aim them. Son of a bitch. I guess I just go ahead, kind of go back and forth trying to hit. Damn it. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Always love that part. I'm just flying out of there with the explosions and everything. We still got a little bit more of this level to go. In fact, I think there's another pull star section or whatever. See if we can grab this bomb. Okay, that thing's gonna explode mad quick. But I, I guess I need it. Ba bomb. Oops, I don't even know what hit me there. A little aftershock, I guess. Oh, okay. So I gotta aim it. Oh, this is tricky, because if I miss this, I'm pretty sure I die. And I have missed this. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, okay. I really thought I overshot that. Alright, see, I haven't, I haven't missed any comments during that entire segment. But, uh, thank you guys for tuning in so far. Having some fun. I'll do one more level from Galaxy before we get to the next part. You should watch Pop Team Epic. All right, well, I got one comment. It just wasn't related to anything. Save my game. Yeah, why not? Always a good idea to save your game, kids. Take it from me, Chaos Blur. It's what I do. That way, after you rage quit, you'll have your progress. Let's do a Bowser level. That's what the kids came here to see. This this does ranch right up there. Yeah, so far, not a bad little episode. Kind of business as usual. So there's only one level. I really got to pick one level. The fiery stronghold of Bowser. It really does ranch right up there. Like I said, this might be my favorite Mario game of all time. If it's not, it's pretty close. Now, I love that they brought back the classic Mario 64 Bowser theme for this. This is just, this is great. I've not played this level in a long time. Yeah, I love the perspective in this game. I love the different gimmicks, the way they're used. Some of them are familiar, some of them are twists on the old formula. Stuff like that. That, that still hurts. It's not new. Now we're going to have a little gravity fun, shifting to the 2D perspective for just a bit. Not able to use my controller very well, apparently. This, this is kind of a screwed up, uh, what do you call it, nunchuck thingy. Well, then you've come to the wrong stream, my friend. Because even though I am mainly a Sonic fan, I got no problem with a little Mario action.
I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. Damn it. I was trying not to do that. I have a fear of that happening. And what you going to do? Okay, at least I'm not all the way at the beginning. See, the deceiving part here is I want to get, you know, here before the friggin' Thwomp hits me, but then the Fire Blasters come on. Oop, okay, whoa, 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 okay, that was almost bad. This actually is not a very long level at all. Yep, there we go. There's the big guy. I missed my chance to really get that, so I'm just going to try it without it. Here we go. Now keep in mind, this is only the first Bowser fight. Like, this is how epic this is. That's a good word for this game. Epic, or iconic, as Strap likes to say. Funny, Bowser's, you know, not one with many words, but he gets the point across. He will squish you. Let's see if I remember what I'm supposed to do here. You actually just kind of hit Bowser like you really like you get to really smack him around a little bit in this it's not like some Mario games where you know okay you like throw him into the chandelier or something and he gets hurt like you actually get to like punch him in the face of course he gets to take a shot or two at you but out of all the Bowser battles like this one really had an epic feel to it attention to where he is. It's the key, obviously. Now he gets a little bit more aggressive, as he usually does. Does his little bouncy dance. Whoa, God, okay. That's the Bowser we know and love, shooting the fireball. See, the thing is, with the spherical thing, dodging the fireballs isn't good enough because they might end up wrapping around to hit you again. Got him. Let me say that, but not an actual Mario quote. I mean, all right. Very good toaster cartridge as usual, adding your whatever. Your, your certain charm to the stream here. All right. And with that, we beat Bowser for the first time in Mario Galaxy. That is how you do that. In doing so, you collect a grand star. Except the first time you do it, it won't be an invisible one. It'll be an actual gold-filled-in one, as you know. Yeah. But now, these are really... I like these Bowser fights a lot better than the ones in Odyssey. Wow. 
a lot more intensity there. But again, I digress. All right, so while I kind of stall for time here for the next uh, round of Retro Request 20, save for time. I save for time. I'm thinking about saving time, but no, save your game. Yeah, why not? I keep getting up every time I want to do this. But no, no, no. reason I'm doing this is because when I switch back to Wii U mode, it's going to cause my signal to go out briefly, during which I'll just have to talk over it. I'll do a talk over as we do in our business.